Today, we're going to be taking a look at Camtasia, a very popular Windows application that has finally made the transition over to the Mac. And it's going to be given the best application that I use on my Mac that I use for almost all my videos to do screen caching like I'm doing now called ScreenFlow, which is Mac only. But this is going to be Camtasia is going to be the top competition to ScreenFlow. And they're both at the $100 price point. They both have the same type of uh, concept as far as what they do but they are different in certain ways but this video I'm going to be showing you what Camtasia is all about and at the end I'll actually at the end I'll actually let you know which one I think you should actually buy now first take a look at Camtasia very nice smooth clean interface everything easy to find on here what you're looking at right here in the middle is called your canvas this is going to show you the media or the content that you're editing and you can zoom in zoom out with just by using the scroll um, the mouse wheel the scroll wheel on your mouse and at the bottom here you got your um, timeline here and you can get very precise editing at the exact point of the video that you want to do so you can just scrub here here just drag it and get exactly where you want to go so that's basically the different things here now Camtasia allows you to not only record your desktop at the same time and also record your eyesight ScreenFlow does that too uh, but both of these are kind of like two separate elements in your editing process and you can click on whatever one that you want to actually add the actions on just click on it now I'm going to show you some of the different um, effects that Camtasia comes with because that's what really sets it apart from ScreenFlow. I'll tell you up front, it has a lot more effects you can do. Uh, so say I want my little um, webcam video to actually in the beginning fly in or do something like that or rotate in in my action. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and rotate in. Just want to pick that, drag it down to my uh, webcam timeline, drop it, press play just by pressing the space bar. And you see my little uh, webcam actually flew in from the side. And these are little effects that really make your video a little bit more professional, a little bit more a you know, cooler to, uh, as far as the uh, effects that people watch and see. Dot. And so let's say what else I want to do to this. You can choose to have it just while you're in the middle of the video to have my uh, <laughs> webcam just kind of flip horizontal um, or flip vertically. See what's going on like in the that. Microsoft world. For whatever you reason why you do that, you can have it do that. Um, now, one of the thing, one of the my favorite different things in here in Camtasia is called Smart Focus. This is a very smart feature. Just drag this and drop this. Uh, just drag this and drop this right on your uh, desktop timeline. And what it does is it go ahead and calculates at what point of the video uh, that you will probably want to actually zoom in on. So, say you're showing uh, different text on a website or you're showing some content on the website, this will actually predict that by the way you move your mouse and by the way the desktop is actually moving. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a good example of this. So right here, you see, it actually zoomed in a little bit right there on my dock because I was just scrolling through my dock, my dock, and I go ahead and go back and show you. Yeah. See, it's at full screen now, but it shows, it knows that I'm going down to my dock with my mouse. It just zooms in automatically, and uh, so you can actually see what's going on in my dock down there. And then once I leave my dock and open up a web browser, it zooms back out automatically. Now this is not, it's not always perfect. You know, sometimes you may want it to zoom in a little bit longer or you want it to zoom out faster, you can go ahead and click on this and actually control it yourself and manipulate it and then drag it in, drag it out the way you want it and to get it exactly how you want to get it. And anytime you want to remove any type of filters or, or, or features or uh, transitions that you added to your timeline, you can just right click and say remove all the actions or you can remove them one by one. Um, and I'm not going to go through every single one of these. I will go through some that you actually see in my screen for videos like you, you see right now. You can add a reflection to my webcam so now I got a little reflection down the bottom that's a nice little glossy effect I really like that effect um, you also do a window spotlight to kind of do a spotlight on the window itself so wherever you zoomed in on or anything like that like the web browser it'll make everything in the background kind of blur out and just be focusing right on that um, open window that you have to kind of keep the the person who's watching this video attention so those are the different features that it comes with um, just like uh, screen flow you can add um, different media to it so this is the different media library so if you have a song or video that's already on your computer you can import it from this point and put it inside your screencast um, you can also add text to it so just drag this text box over here to whatever you want it to have in your um, actual screencast just drop it double click to edit so uh, then you can type in whatever you want to type in and uh, and so now you can go ahead and go to the settings tab which is over here to the right and you can actually choose if you want to go ahead and rotate this a little bit do anything like that uh, you can scale it make it bigger 
and do a little just stuff like that you can also add a little arrow here if you want to point out something in the video you can do that and uh, do little different things like that so that's about it now as far as editing audio now Camtasia does capture audio a little clearer I, I must say definitely it captures the audio a little bit clearer than screen flow even though I use the same mic for some reason so um, but you can add little actions here to lower or raise the volume at certain points um, but that's about it as far as a, a real quick overview of Camtasia so again like I said the interface is top-notch It's a very easy simple to use interface you will love to use it and now we're at the point is this better than screen flow I have to say feature wise and overall as a scheme it is better than screen flow now screen flow does do certain things easier and better and has a couple things that Camtasia doesn't have like the little radar click when I click on something that you've been watching this video and also to zoom in and the call outs that's what we call it when you zoom in on the mouse um, Cam, I think screen flow does that a lot better than Camtasia and but Camtasia does feature a lot more features as far as you know transitions and stuff like that and that, that I really like so if you're a first-time buyer you're really trying to decide between these two I will actually say get Camtasia right now because uh, it probably be more fun to use and a little bit more a little more things that you may want to use in the future now I'm always gonna stick with ScreenFlow, I think. I'm gonna try out Camtasia, who knows what can happen, but ScreenFlow is my number one thing right now because I'm very easy and comfortable using it. Um, I think it's I think it's still up there with Camtasia, but it's just missing a couple of things. But like I said in the early in the video, both of these are at the $99 price point. Now, um, ScreenFlow, you can probably get a little bit cheaper if you use the education discount. And I go to their website and just go to their education portion of their store, and you can get a cheaper, I think it's like 80 to 80 bucks, 90 bucks, something like that. But Camtasia is just $100 just for a certain amount of time, a limited amount of time. It will jump up to $130 soon. So once it jumps up to that point, that may actually be the breaking point where um, definitely trying to save money. ScreenFlow would be the number one option maybe at that point. But so you know it's best here. Make a video response. If you got Camtasia, go over some features that I didn't go over. Make a video response so everybody can watch it. And what is your thoughts about this battle? ScreenFlow, Camtasia, what do you think? All right, so it's best, and I'll catch you later. Peace.